we have to look up the from location, to location, and then from the correct column, pick out the three lowest prices and return the transporter name and prices. And if we change an input, including when there's not three, we want everything to update. Now in last video, we saw how to do it with Excel worksheet formulas. And the beauty of Excel worksheet formulas is they update instantly, which in a lookup situation like that, that's what you probably want. But wait a second, our teammate Gert said Power Query is too easy and elegant not to consider. Now with Power Query, we have to convert both tables to Excel tables and then import them in to the Power Query editor. Now normally, we come up with one cell in the table and click From Sheet. But watch this. You can right click, and there's Get Data from Sheet. But it gets even better than that. If you can find your right click key on your keyboard, it's between the Window key and the Control key, hit right click. And then notice the G is underlined, so it's right click G. That's the keyboard to get an Excel table into the Power Query window. Now we're going to keep that just as it is. And instead of coming up and clicking Close and Load, Close and Load 2, since we're doing keyboards, let's do Alt. Notice the H. Notice the C for Close and Load, so C. We do have to down arrow and then hit Enter. And then notice the underlined O, so we tap O. Now that's a lot of keyboards, but when I'm lazy and don't want to touch my mouse, I can do that pretty quickly. Now, OK is highlighted, so I hit Enter. And now we've loaded that as a connection only. Now I'm going to arrow down, right click G, and now we've loaded the two-way lookup table to the Power Query window. Now the way this lookup table works is once we find WWZZ, we have one, two, three, four prices. Down here, we have another WWZZ, but the four prices are in four different columns. And what we really want is we want to repeat that record four times with each one of these numbers in a different row. Then we can use the criteria table with the conditions in one row to match all the rows in this table. To convert this table from a two-way lookup to a proper data set, we're going to remove vehicle type, right click, remove. Select 14 feet, hold shift, select 32, and right click, unpivot only selected columns. And bam, we have just what we want. We have WWZZ and a single vehicle type and price for each row. Now we want to rename these fields. Notice table.unpivot. The last argument allows us to rename the columns. So we'll edit the M code, double click attribute, vehicle type, and then value. We'll say price and Enter. Now those are the steps. That name is fine. Let's close and load as a connection only. Alt-HC. Down arrow, Enter, tap O, and Enter. Now let's do our lookup. I'm going to double click Criteria Table to open up the Power Query window and look at that query right there. Now I'm going to leave these two as is and create a third. So right click, Reference. That just brings Criteria Table over. And if anything changes back here, this will change. This is the starting point to look up the three lowest prices. Now I want to rename this, so F2. We'll call it three low prices. Now there's our conditions. And the beautiful thing about unpivot is now we can match those three columns with one, two, three columns. And the way we look up things in Power Query is with the Merge feature. So in Home, Combine Group, Merge Queries, select the first option. We want to select the three criteria columns. So click From, hold Shift, select Vehicle Type, and look at that. One, two, three different conditions used for the lookup, or in our case, a merge. We'll select Lookup Table, select From, hold Shift, Vehicle Type. One, two, three. The Join kind, or the Lookup kind, or the Merge kind is a left outer. That means all from the first. 
So we'll have this one row with the conditions for the lookup from the first table and matching from the second. So it'll only pull out XXZZ19 feet from this table. Bring all those records over here, which is exactly what we want. Click OK. Now that returns a table. And if you click off to the side, not on the green table word, but off to the side, there it is. There's all the matching records. And what we ultimately want is the transporter name and all of these prices. So now we can use the Expand button, uncheck Use Original, uncheck Select All, and we want the name and the price. When we click OK, from that list of criteria, now we have exactly what we want, the matching transporter names and price. Now the next thing we need to do is filter so that we have the three lowest prices including if there's a tie for third, we want both. So the next step is to sort. So we'll sort ascending, which will bring the smallest one on top. And then whatever that third value is, we want to extract that and use it as a hurdle to filter this column. That way, if there is a tie for third, we'll get both records. Now, before we can do that, we actually need this number that's originally typed into our criteria table for the third smallest. We need to have it as a number so we can use it. So watch this. We have these steps right here, but I'm going to drill down. And because this original three comes from always a single row, we're always going to get the same value in every row. So I can pick whichever one I want, right click, and drill down. And that uses the correct syntax, the full table, the position index operator. And since Power Query is base 0, the first one is 0. That gives us the row. And then the field access operator says which column. Now the table uses pound and double quotes because there's a space there. That's the syntax that's used when you have a space. And I don't want to use that syntax. It's messy. And if we look back to the number step, we can see we have to use that syntax. So I want to come over to Applied Steps, click the step, F2. I'm going to rename it by removing the space, backspace, and Enter. Now if I click on this step here, that's a cleaner code. Now I want to use that because it delivers a 3. So I'm going to copy it, Control c and Enter. Coming back to Applied Steps, Select Sorted Rows, and now I want to take only the top three. So I come up to Home, Reduce Rows, Keep Rows, and we want Keep Top Rows. I want to insert a step. For the time being, I'm going to put a 3, click OK. Now up in the formula bar, I'm going to highlight that hard-coded 3 and Control V. And now when I hit Enter, this M code is not only taking the top rows from that table, but it also extracted a value that we're using in the formula. Now I don't need this, so I'm going to delete it. Now I need to extract that value and use it as a hurdle to come back once again to a previous step and filter. And I don't want to drill down here because that's a variable position. Sometimes it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So we'll use list.last to get to that last value. But in order to do that, I need to extract this as a list. So I'm going to come up. And that whole formula right there is delivering a table. And if you want to extract a field from a table as a list, you use your field access operators. So now when I hit Enter, I have a list. And I can use list.last open parentheses, and that'll be dynamic. Whatever the last one is, we'll get, and Enter. Notice the formula is pointing towards sorted rows, which is what we want. So if we look over here, there's sorted rows. So we can simply copy this, Control-C, Enter, and do another trick. I want to filter this column based on a number less than or equal to, we'll insert. We actually could have deleted that if we want. I'll just pick a number for the time being, click OK. And up in the formula bar, I'll double click and Control V. Everything is looking at the previous step name, so we're good to go and Enter. Now I want to delete this step. 
And now we have what we want, transporter name and price. I want to remove other columns. So I select transporter name, hold Shift or Control, click, right click, remove other columns. And that's our finished report. If we come up to close and load, clo oh, wait a second. We got to use our keyboard, Alt-H-C, down arrow, Enter. And in this case, instead of O, I want to use E. So I tap E. And I better make sure it's in the right location, something like P18. Click OK. And now if I change the criteria, XX from 2 will be YY. The formula is instantly update, but Power Query, we need to refresh. So you could right click each one of these and refresh, or use Data, Refresh All, or you can use the keyboard, Control-Alt-F5. Now I want to add some new data. So I'm going to highlight those rows, right click Insert. And then down here, Control-C, Control-V, Formulas instantly update, Control-Alt-F5, and our Power Query updates. All right, that was a lot of fun with Power Query to look up based on three conditions, the three lowest prices with transporter name. Thanks to Gert for this Power Query solution, and we'll see you next video.